Hey, what's going on guys? Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. Today we're going to do a comb over skin fade and we're also going to do his beard. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to start off with is our T outliner. Uh, this particular T outliner that I'm using right now is the Babyless, Babyless, whatever you want to call it, Pro T outliner. And what we did was go to the temp area and start working our way all the way around the head. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. We're basically gonna connect that line together. Make sure it's nice and clean. Go over it with your T outliner. Next thing we did here was grab our wall senior. And what I did was I opened that up all the way and I created a bar. Now when you're fading hair, you're basically creating lines and taking them out. And that's what I did right here. I created a bar. And the first thing we're going to do is concentrate on taking out that bar. Forget about the skin line. Don't pay attention to it. First thing we did right here was grab a number five clip. Now, the reason why I grabbed this clip is because I want to clear the bulk. I want to create room for my fade. OK, so I'm just clearing out all the bulk, clearing out that hair, creating a flat surface so we can have room to fade. Now, you can do this with scissor over comb. You can do this with clipper over comb. It's just all up to you. I find it easier to do it with my uh, biggest guard possible. So depending on how long the hair is, you wanna do it with the biggest guard possible. Now you see it's a flat surface. That's gonna give us room to start our blend. We won't have a big line there when we start creating our fade. So the first clip I'm gonna grab is my one and a half, and I'm gonna go with shorter strokes. So I'm gonna start flicking my wrist, and as I get higher, I'm opening my lever. So I'm gonna start with the machine closed, and as I get higher, I open my lever, and I start fading into the crown of the head. Take your time. You gotta bend the ear like I did there. Bend that ear. And you see me flicking the wrist. As I get higher, I open up the clip. I mean, the, the lever. And the reason why you wanna do that is because you don't wanna exceed any lines. You'll see that take place with the next guard. Make sure it's nice and clean, go over it. Next guard we're gonna use is the one. Now the one, if you open it up, it's equivalent to the one and a half. As you see me getting higher, I open that guard up. And that basically blends right into that previous clip. So you see me start with a close, flicking my wrist, creating a scooping motion. And as I start to get higher, I open that lever all the way up. And you wanna do this all the way around the head, making sure it's nice and clean. So last but not least, we're grabbing our half guard. Same thing, guys, same concept. When you open that half up all the way, it becomes that number one clip. So as you see me getting higher, I'm opening that half clip. So we're starting with a close. As we get higher, we're opening it up halfway. As we get higher, we're opening it up all the way. And you wanna continue that step all the way around the head, fading into that previous clip. So when I fade here, I'll start with the biggest clip and work my way down to the smallest clip. Now all we gotta do is worry, worry about that skin line that's left over. So what I did was, if you remember, we created a bar and that bar was this machine, this particular machine opened up all the way. So what I did was I closed my machine all the way and as I got higher, I opened up my machine all the way and I did not exceed where I placed that bar in the first place okay and you want to do that all the way around the head and that should go ahead and blend out your line all right so the next thing we're going to do is just start shaping them up if you want a detailed video about shaping up just go to our channel type in how to make a crispy headline how to make a crispy beard you'll see a bunch of videos that come up like that so what i'm doing here is just making sure that it's nice and straight nice and sharp but most of the details is going to come in with our straight razor i'm just going to go over his beard a little bit and line it up but again all the detail comes from the straight razor i'm just any stray hairs that are poking out i'm just going over them plucking them out lining up the top again there's no detail here yet but you're about to see real detail take place once i get into that straight razor again we have videos on how to shape up beards really really good he wanted to take off his mustache so what i did was take my tea outliner take off that mustache so first thing we're going to do is grab our easy blade shaving gel now this is a clear non-foam shave gel this is going to allow you to see that line and see exactly what you want to do when you're shaving up your customer uh, it's going to allow that blade to glide so we're going to put that all over the face i'm going to go ahead and play a hot towel for extra comfort for my customer that's a nice steam hot towel straight out the towel machine. 
take that off. We're gonna use some Easy Blade straight razors, uh, double edge razors, and we're gonna start lining them up. Now what you wanna do when you're shaving somebody up, you wanna make sure that you're pulling that skin. You wanna make sure that skin is nice and tight before you slide that razor across it. You wanna make sure that you're angling it at a 30, 30 degree angle. And as you can see, his beard's coming out nice and sharp, guys. We're gonna do the same thing all over the beard. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of those strays that are poking out, make sure that's clean. Pay attention to detail, same thing around the beard. Again, if you guys wanna see a really detailed video about using a straight razor, go to our channel and type in how to use a straight razor. Making it nice and detailed, attention to detail, guys. Customers love that. I'm gonna go ahead, apply some more Easy Blade and shave off his mustache because the machine didn't do it enough. And then we're gonna go ahead and style his hair. I'm just gonna wet it a little bit light mist. He didn't want to take any off the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some of our Easy Blade water-based pomade and I'm just going to put a little bit in there and make sure that his hair stays in place. I'm also going to go ahead and put some of our uh, beard oil in there as well and just moisten up the beard. We don't want him to leave with a dry beard. We want him to have a nice, clean cut, smell good, feel good, look good. And they'll go ahead and talk about your barbershop. Now, this particular barbershop is our new flagship store, Easy Blade Barbers and Company. Pretty cool. Anyway, guys, check out the cut. Hope you guys like it. All right, guys, hope you guys like that video, that skin fade with the beard. I hope you guys thought it came out sharp. If you guys like this video, like, comment below. Let us know what you want to see next. We'll be dropping videos every week. If you want to follow us on Instagram, you can follow us at Easy Blade Shaver Products. I'll talk to you guys soon.